What's up guys, Ben here again, and as I said, we're just going to take a quick look at the Corsair Raptor LM2 gaming mouse. This is a real generic and um, kind of cheap gaming mouse here. It is, the RRP, MSRP is 25 US dollars. So, like I said before in the keyboard video, we're just trying to take a look at some peripherals. Well, I am personally that are cheap and decent for gaming because uh, we all know we don't all have seventy hundred two hundred dollars to spend on just peripherals alone is as everything's expensive these days this is a it's hard to see but uh, it's a two thousand dpi mouse you can switch between eight hundred twelve hundred and two the two thousand dpi on the fly with the button as most mouse gaming mouses are these days it's got six um, buttons that you can map and control to set up how you want so, so I took the liberty of going ahead and open the package a little bit because it's one of those plastic packages you have to cut to crap to get open um, immediately what I see here is oh that's quite nice these here, it just looks like a black strip, but this is also, um, what is it, eight of the little rubber glide feet for the bottom of the mouse. So, as you can see, we've got four of them on the mouse, but they've put another eight in the package, so that actually come in handy. Um, of course, we've got Corsair Warranty Guide. Uh, if you've ever had to use their warranty or RMA service, you'll know that they are amazing. Uh, being in the UK, I have to send my stuff to the Netherlands. I send it out by the post office, and normally, I'll say seven, from requesting an RMA on the website to receiving my product back is normally seven to ten days. And like I said, I have to send it to the Netherlands, which isn't that far away, but it's still a different country, international shipping. So we all know that holds things up. But like I said, they are super fast. I did an RMA last night for RAM. I think 20 minutes later, I had my RMA number and address and everything to go ahead and ship it off. So that was good. Um, as you can see, it's got the scroll wheel, of course. Then we've got the DPI. Uh, switch. I'd imagine this is an LED to kind of help let you know what DPI you're at. Um, we've also, of course, got the left and mouse, left and right mouse button. Now we've got the two side buttons, which normally like Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, back and forth, and you can also bind them in games, which is um, quite nice for me. I use them a lot. This mouse is. Uh, feels first feels is a little bit small. It'll definitely take some getting used to, but it feels good. And um, I'm about to go ahead and play a bit with it and test it out with the keyboard. And I will report back and let y'all know how it is. Thanks for watching.